How to stop being lazy? Are you not tired of sitting on the couch? You know, overweight, watching Netflix for hours, and these scores on social media, etc. Are you not tired of that, bro? It's time to wake up before it's too late and that, man. Make something out of yourself. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Stay Woke Conversations. Yes, sir. Now, before I get started, make sure to break the argument by smashing the like button, hitting that red subscribe button for all the people that are lazy. You know, there's a, it there's it an interesting impact them to wake up that and start and, and where you're going to maximize their life, become a better version of themselves. Because there's not a time is taken away from us, is that our life is going away. You know, so make sure to make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on all, all my social media platforms, and check out my my programs to take your mind, body, and spirit to the next level. So let's get it. So how to stop being lazy? This is a guide, a step-by-step -step guide. I got five points for you. You know, make sure to get pen and paper and write these down. And I, I promise you, this is gonna make a positive impact in your life right now. Especially watching this, you are lazy, bro. So first of all, yeah, the reason why you're lazy and you're not achieving your goals, whatever, you're not progressing in life, is because you haven't defined your goals. If you don't know, if you got, for example, if you got a gun and you don't, you've got no clip, you've got no gun in there, you know where you aim at. Then, then what you call it, then unfortunately you cannot use the gun. It's simple as that. So that can save your life and that. You need to decide on every of your life and every area of your life what is the what's the goal is gonna be. Or mentally, or you wanna get open your mind, your creativity, start reading books. Or physically, or physically, you wanna fit a strong body, okay, start going to the gym. You know, start lifting weights. Oh, you gotta go. You wanna eat healthy. You wanna live a, a long life, happy life. Don't you? You're gonna start eating, uh, eating health a certain way. That nourish. You gonna eat <clears throat> foods that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. So every area of your life, you've got a goal. I don't care if one guy focus on mental first or physical. It don't matter. That you have a goal in place, set in place. They put the time and energy to achieve that goal. Otherwise. Otherwise, it ain't gonna go. It's like you're going to. It's like you're going to a jungle. You have no map. How are you supposed to make? It? How are you supposed to get into the jungle? Go past it and um, get out of life, or they go missing somewhere. You know, before you know, in there you look, you you got posts everywhere, <laughs> and so much, so much time to um, people try to look for you. Can't find you now because you got lost because you got no map. The that literally makes no sense whatsoever. So that is why you have to have a goal. So where you're aiming, where you're headed in life. If you if you ain't gonna where you're headed like this, you're just basically walking blindfold. Um, uh, where well, go? Should I go? Oh, left. I go go right. That's what's gonna end up happening. That happen. You know. And when you, when you've got a goal, when you have a goal in place, then you got a sense of of meaning, of purpose for you to uh, get out your ass, get out your lazy ass, and put in the work. You know, when you got a goal and that, you got something to, to work for. You know, a lot of people see that they're enough to work for just working a dead end job and they're just like getting by, just doing random, just waking up random times, doing random things. It's because, it's because yeah, they, they've, got, they've got no goals. They've got no zero goals and that. When you see someone exactly the same way, mentality, the way they look, you know, the way they speak, because they've got no goals. So they can say exactly where they are. So define your goal, get a piece of paper, and a pen and paper, and define your goals right now. I don't care, it's one area of your life or every area of your life, decide, write it down, boom. That's a, that's a one, one, a one check, uh, checklist ticked. The next thing is that you want to, as a, for as, as, especially as a beginner, start small because it's, uh, my life is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So you wanna start with, off with small compound, uh, whatever you're doing at a small comp int so compound interest and you accumulate over a period of time then it becomes then then you will achieve that thing so small ones accumulate over a period of time then you achieve that goal so if you say for example you want to have a fit and strong body then you, you're going to make a soft small cake and start going to the gym once at a time go to the gym three times a week you say go to the gym right 
small steps and that you're gonna start eating uh slowly changing your diet gradually start changing that the bad the bad food with in food introducing like healthy food fruits veg nuts whatever introducing start making the, the adjustment falling in there reduce it reduce it over time reducing the bad shit and you're increasing the good shit and that's it your diet has to transformed your body has to transformed that is that that is where you started small just start with, but if you start big and all oh, you want uh, physique like uh, physique like on a source nigga you know what you're doing is that if you okay the the, the thing is so big it's great to think big and that you want a big goals and that it's amazing but what you could you end up gonna shit yourself because you haven't broken down of the small step because small step is able to get you to that result so breaking out small steps and that and that will uh, be able to enjoy the process you know and uh, there will be a lack of uh, there will be a, a lack of pressure on you on your waist on your shoulders and just free just join the process and actually actually you get more into your more gave you more confidence more momentum then you gain the you, then you gain that uh way cool then you, your your capacity will in, your capacity will increase over a period of time <laughs> that is the that's the beauty of starting small Whatever the goal that you may be, start small and then break it down into small steps and that, and then eventually you will get there. That's the way to do it now. And that's just the, that's the way to stop being lazy. Because if you got a big score, then you're lazy, yo, yo, this is so big and that. There's so much work to do. You start all the you start looking at all the things and you're optimistic, something, all the things will go wrong and that. It's such a where I begin. They almost basically lost. Bro. And then and then you realize it's standing there, you're not actually not doing anything. And then you're caught up being lazy, procrastinating. And when you get caught lazy, being lazy, and procrastinating, then you get into bad habits. You know? That's going to make you more lazy, more procrastinating. You know, by any discussion on social media. You know, when you do all the tasks that make you waste your time and energy in that. You know? Social media, uh, just hanging around, hanging around with uh, like losers and, you know what I'm saying, to watch the TV all day. All these things don't stop because you, end up, you end up not doing nothing. So, by default, you cannot do something that's wasting your time and energy and make you more lazy. That's the way it is, bro. So, start small. You know what I mean? And over a period of time, it will change because that's a period. That's a, that's a, there is a, a way called a rule. It's a 2190 rule. It takes 21 days to create a habit, right? Test out your calendar, write it down, and choose a habit and take 21 days consecutively. Consistently, and then after that, I do ninety days, which is three months period, and I over ninety days period, they realize that is now a lifestyle. You've created a lifestyle now. Just done, and that's it. It's a habit now. So start small. Next thing is that create a plan. Without a, without a plan and a vision, you're not going anywhere. Forget it. For you, put your put your your goals, your dreams in the bin. Unfortunately, that's the reality to be brutal. That's the reality of life, bro. You have to create a plan of where, of, of, of you're gonna create, create a plan of where, where you go, your, your day, how you're going to achieve it. You start mentally, okay, you wanna uh, progress in your know, reading by listening to podcasts. You know what I'm saying to you? Okay, you're gonna, this is the time you're gonna wake up. You're gonna work on your physical, go to the gym. You know, you're gonna eat healthy. You know? Spiritually, X, Y, Z, your relationship, X, Y, Z, finance, X, Y, Z. So I just say your goals are create a plan. Just that, that's a plan that you go to follow every day. You've designed your life now. You, that you, you, you've written out a contract. So you now you go in, you go into, uh, go into that direction of to, to uh, of evolving across your going, all your character, your mindset, your habits, your behavior, because you've you've, you've created a plan. There's like going without a plan, you're not going anywhere. It's like going to the jungle as I said before, without no, without no map. You're not going anywhere. You're just not going missing. You know? I probably don't even know, man. Flipping a, a crocodile's gonna eat you or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The next thing is that set set deadlines. This is key as well. Set a deadline. So in and around where you, what, what you want to, uh, what goal, what you want to achieve. And, or maybe you want like in the next six months, you want to like get lean and shred it. So that's six, in, the, in the next six months. But when you got that in mind, it said that if you die your calendar, boom, on your notes, and you, you couldn't work on that thing, that's got to the deadline and that. 
just like you only do every 30 days. So it's up to you however you feel comfortable. Create a deadline for it because that's going to create a sense of urgency. Urgency and um, what you call it, and uh, what you call it, urgency and avoid you uh, being lazy. When it's urgency, okay, oh, well, oh, you look at it, so yeah, I've got five months left, I've got three months or two months, and you get more urgency, more on your toes, more alert. You go on that, the how you, how you gonna make it, you're gonna, you're gonna step up you, the pace. You're gonna step up as, uh, as, your, as the, the days and weeks going by, getting closer to your deadline, and you step up the pace. So the pace and I make the just what's necessary as needed for you to achieve that goal on time. You know? So that means the urgency. If I had a deadline, there's no urgency, you're gonna be lazy. But every business, whatever most businesses they go have deadlines and oh they want the, the, the X, Y, the deadline they want and, and the year, this is the aim on the making that customers want to have XYZ. Every business has got that, most people got a deadline and that. That gets sense of urgency. If I know if I know uh, deadline, there's no sense of urgency. But oh whatever now whether you'll be thinking like whenever I get there, whenever I get there, I'll get there. And I'm gonna be realizing that you you stuck on air for 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 a long time just on that one thing and that because there became no urgency and that because time for you on that period of time you could have for example elevate your your fitness your uh, physique to the next level if you said like uh, uh, every month and oh you're improving but literally every day like every week you're improving okay that's what you need to improve find a way to improve this by one percent improve improve and set a deadline next week last week you, you you've lifted uh 20 kg next week next week you need to be lifting 25 kg 30 kg you constantly improve and push out of comfort zone. keep pushing yourself that is that is a good urgency now that helps you avoid laziness very effective try it and my last one is eliminate distractions or limiting it as much as possible because the form of slavery is not mental shout out to x exceptional rest and power is that he said the form of slavery is uh, it's not it's not a uh, way it's not slavery no more it's uh, mental so when you go on contact you start with your notifications your mobile phone your notifications keep going off Oh, you got a phone call. Oh, you have you got a test going on your screen. All these notifications on different um, on twenty apps. You're gonna get distracted. You take your mind off where you want to apply it to. You know, you can't focus on uh, producing the highest quality of work and a be, be a deep work and put a time and energy into into elevating and whatever you're doing. And what to do because you, you need that your the intensity, the focus that you, that you need is acquired and that it's not there. You know, same, same with uh, when you got people around you, they're making noise, you know, environment's noisy. You know, some TV is on, distracted, not going anywhere. Yeah, you laptop's on, all this making noise, the music is on, whatever. Whatever's around you that's causing distractions, you need to completely eliminate the outside and focus your time, and you focus 100% time, energy, a period of time, focus work, deep work onto progressing in that thing or not whether it's your creative content or your, it's, uh, it's uh, your study uh, studying or you're learning the skill or well, it's a time and energy focus time and energy onto just strictly that nothing else around you if it's not that then it takes away from your the, your capacity your focus to think the intensity to think the, the certain intensity to think and that you know you're not going anywhere you realize that uh, hours gone by you, you've done you've done little to nothing <laughs> Because, because why? Because you've you've even caught up full of distractions, and that, and the world is a full of distractions, unfortunately. You know, for and especially this this right here, this the, the number one enemy. The mobile phone is is, is full of distractions. And it's always distracting. If not use it as a weapon to to uh, to progress to um, to to make money x y x y z and that to make uh, to provide value to your life then it's a complete waste of time on that and that's most common distraction that everyone got a mobile phone it's like literally a chip on everyone's shoulder just that everyone might as well get glue and stick it on there or tattoo on there like <laughs> because that's the number one distraction by far so eliminate distractions you know, start going for all the example that's given and that. When you realize that, then that will, that will then avoid you being lazy. You gotta call them not being lazy no more because you're, you're off your phone, you're, you're not caught up with notifications, you're not caught off your, on your, your laptop, your, all these things that are around you and that. And you're able to focus on just on that thing why you're going to progress in your life. Or whatever that may be, bro. That's the best way. That's all. That is my point now on elimination, eliminating distractions. So, 
the define your goals, start small, create a plan, set deadlines, and eliminate all distractions. So that is the that's the ultimate guide for on how to start being lazy to achieve your goals and dreams and becoming the best version of yourself. That's the channel it's all about. That's the purpose of this channel. You know? So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch the video order to the end. Make sure to smash the like button, hit that red subscribe button. Follow me on all social media platforms. If you want to take your life to the next level, your fitness, check out the check out the Bodyweight Revolution program to get ripped and build muscle in just four weeks. Check out check out the copy vegan guideline. If you want me one view consultation to take your mind and body to speak to the next level, then uh, uh, shout me at follow me on Instagram and DM me and boom we get it on you know what I'm saying to you and all my links be below as well so uh, that being said I appreciate for watching and I'll see you in my next video peace of and blessings stay woke let's get it